So watch this. So if I move my head, it's actually tracking the movement in the video. How cool is that? What's happening guys? In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how to install and get started with OpenCV as part of the OpenCV basic series. Ready to do it? Let's take a deeper look as to what we'll be going through. So in this video, we're gonna be focused on really getting up and started with OpenCV. Now, OpenCV is a huge wide Python package, which allows you to do a ton of stuff when it comes to computer vision. So this extends further than just using a deep neural networks for computer vision and building stuff with CNN layers. There is a ton of stuff outside of that when it comes to computer vision. Now, in this first video, we're really just gonna be focused on installing it and trying out some of the samples that you've got, which come pre-packaged as part of OpenCV. So in terms of the three things that we're going to be doing, we're going to be installing OpenCV for our environment, and I'll show you how to actually import it into a Jupyter Notebook. We'll also test out one of the samples, which allows us to take a look at the different color histograms for an image, and we might also try out optical flow. Ready to do it? Let's get to it. Alrighty guys, so we are getting set up with OpenCV in this video. Now this is going to be the beginning of one of our basic series videos. So we're probably going to build up on these and see how far we can get with OpenCV. But first up, what we're going to be doing is really just getting set up with it and trying out some of the functionality available. So in order to do that, the first thing that we need to do is install OpenCV. Now, ideally, I'd recommend you do this inside of a virtual environment, but you don't need to. So right now I've currently got a Jupyter Notebook open up inside of Jupyter Lab. So you can see it's called setting up OpenCV.ipyNB. Now really in terms of actually installing OpenCV, it's actually pretty straightforward. So all we need to do is type exclamation mark pip install as per usual with a Python uh, command and then type in OpenCV dash Python. And this is going to go on ahead and install OpenCV and that is it done. So all I've written is exclamation mark pip install OpenCV dash Python. And that is now installed. Now, if I type in um, exclamation mark pip list, ideally what you should see is that we've got OpenCV installed there. So let's have a look. There you go. So that is OpenCV dash Python. And we've got version 4.5.3.56. So we can really quickly go on ahead and get started with it. So that is the installation now done. Now, the other thing that I sort of wanted to show you is how to import it. So in terms of importing OpenCV, all you need to do is type in, well, actually this is a little bit different to what you'd expect, but in order to import it, you just type in import CV2. Don't ask me why, but that's what they've gone and called it. So in order to open CV or import OpenCV, you just need to type in import CV2. And that is OpenCV now imported. Now, if we wanted to go and use it, we can type in CV2 dot, and you've got a whole bunch of different functions and modules that are available. So you can see, um, so say for example, we wanted to create um, a video capture device, which is what you'd use to connect to your video or webcam. So we can type in CV2 dot video capture, and that's gonna bring in the video capture class. Right, but we're not gonna be focused on that today. I really just wanted to focus on installing it for you. So what we can then do, let's just structure this a little bit because my OCD is kicking in. So this is really um, step one, installing OpenCV. The next thing that I did want to show you, however, is how to test some of the samples because now that we've gone and installed it, we want to make sure that we can actually work with it. So let's go on ahead and do that. So I'm going to create a new section, test samples. So first up, what we actually need to do is get some samples. Now. In terms of working with OpenCV, there is a ton of information on their website. So um, they've got a really popular GitHub repository. They've got online documentation, which I think I've got. So if you open up the online documentation from here, you need to go and select the version that you want. So uh, I'm gonna choose uh, 4.5.4. And then from here, you can see all of the different things that they've actually got in here. Now, and I've got a couple of questions from people before. So Keep in mind, OpenCV is more than just deep learning, right? So there is some deep learning neural net or deep neural networks that are available in here, but there is so much more that's actually available through this, um, some of which we're definitely going to explore. Um, if you wanted some Python tutorials, there's a bunch of Python tutorials. It's even available in JavaScript as well. So if you're a JavaScript developer or a React developer, you can test some of this out. Cool. Where else was I going? All right, we're going to get some samples. So that is OpenCV now installed. 
Now, what we can do is you can go to opencv.org. So that's this main web page dot here. We wanted to grab the samples. You can go to opencv.org forward slash releases. And then if you hit sources, so this over here, this is going to download all of the, or the, the actual source code, which contains the samples that you can actually test out. So we're going to test two samples. So there's a histogram type sample and there's also an optical flow so the optical flow sample is absolutely sick so we'll test this out in a second so let's give that oh that's downloaded now so what we can go on ahead and do is grab that and i'm going to put this in the same folder that i'm currently working in so you can see let me zoom in so this is the file that i've just downloaded so opencv-4.5.4 let me zoom out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut that and I'm going to place it inside of the same folder that I'm working in, which is called OpenCV. And I'm just going to extract that here. Now, if you actually go into that folder, so if we go into 4.5.4, there are a ton of samples. So if you hit samples, so OpenCV-4.5.4, if you go into samples, these are all sample applications in a whole bunch of different languages. Now we're interested in Python. Look at how many there are. There's tons. So if you wanted to test this out, you definitely could. Pretty cool, right? So we're going to do exactly that. So let's test out. There's this histogram one, which we're going to try there. And we're also going to try out the optical flow one down here. So I'm going to run these from my Jupyter Notebook because it's just a little bit easier that way. So what we can do is first up, we need to navigate into that folder. So I'm going to change directory into here. And we are going to run Python. Let's run the uh, histogram one. Uh, so uh, Python hist.py. So what we're doing is I've written exclamation mark CD opencv-4.5.4 forward slash samples forward slash python so basically go into the folder that you just downloaded go into the samples folder and go into the python folder and then run python hist.py as per usual all this code is going to be available in the description below so if i go and run this now you should get a little pop-up down the bottom take a look at this so this is the image that opencv is open now if we hit a you actually get these histograms that represent all the different color channels throughout the image. So that's A, I, th I believe there's another one if I type in B, so that's in grayscale, C, so that looks like it's uh, gr a little bit grainier, and then D, so again, that looks like it's um, grayscale as well. So A, B, C, D. That's probably not all that crazy, right? But you can see all the different color channels that are available, um, and presumably saturation and exposure as well. But Pretty cool, right? So that's um, at least one of the samples up and running. So this verifies that our OpenCV installation is now working. Now, in order to close this, all you need to do is hit escape and that's gonna close down out of it. Now, this over here actually shows you all the different keys. So A actually shows you the histogram for the color image in curve mode. B shows the histogram in bin mode. C shows it in equalized history or shows a equalized histogram. D shows a histogram for a gray image in curve mode, so on and so forth. So there's also an E. I didn't actually try that, but you can see that. That sort of shows you what's possible um, with it. Now, the cooler one is actually the optical flow um, sample. So if I run this again, but rather than running hist.py, let's add some comments. So this is going to run um, histogram sample. This is going to run the optical flow sample. So the optical flow sample is available at opt underscore, uh, what is it, opt flow, I think. Let's take a look. So inside of the samples folder, there's a file called opt flow. So you can see that there. If I close that. So if I go and run, the one argument that you need to pass here is you need to pass through your video capture device number. So if you want to do it using your webcam, you can, but let's try it without our webcam first up. So if I run this, Okay, so that's picked up nothing. So at the moment, you can't see anything there, but some green dots. Let's actually escape out of that. Let's use our webcam. So if I run, run it with device captured four, this is actually going to run with our webcam. Now you might need to play around with this, particularly if you're working on your local machine. So your video capture device number might be different. So on my machine, it's video capture device four. You might need to play around with this. I might actually do another tutorial if you guys want to see on how to actually determine your video capture device number. But if I go and run this now, it's going to run optical flow using my webcam. 
and assume you should ideally get a little pop up at the bottom of your screen okay so you can see that now guys this is sick so watch this so if i move my head it's actually tracking the movement in the video how cool is that all right move the mic no mic's gonna break the camera oh sweet look at that and that's one of the pre-built samples right how cool is that Sorry, I'm getting uh, I'm getting excited over this. But you can see, so really quickly, we're able to get up and, and at least start playing around with OpenCV. Now, I just saw another sample that kind of looks cool as well. It said people detector. Let's go back into that one and try that one out. So if you wanted to try any of these, it's really just a matter of running the sample. So if we go into OpenCV 4.5.4, go into Python, and I saw people detect. Yeah, let's run this. Uh, let's see if there's any Docker on it. Example to detect people in images using hog features. So uh, we need to pass through the image name. I don't have any images, but maybe we'll try this out in another sample. That is perfectly cool. So that is OpenCV now set up. The one other thing that I wanted to show you is if you want to do this in Colab, again, same thing. So pip install OpenCV dash Python. And that is going to go on ahead and install OpenCV inside of your Colab environment. The key thing to note though is that Later on, when we do some webcam based uh, applications, if you try to access your webcam through Colab, it's not going to work. It's going to throw a bunch of errors, but you can see that is OpenCV. It looks like it was pre-installed, so you can get up and running relatively quickly. But on that note, pretty short one. We went through how to install OpenCV, how to test out some of the samples, as well as how to install OpenCV in Colab. But on that note, that about wraps it up. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, hit subscribe and tick that bell. And let me know if you have any trouble in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. Thanks again for tuning in. Peace.